Okay, I thought I'd show you these check valves in their disassembled state. This is all there is to it. There's a retainer here. That's what I tapped out. And then there's a spring that goes right over that. And then you have your actual piece that does the check valving right there. It's just all it is, just a little rubber disc. And these look okay. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with these except that Sure enough, when I took these out, I tapped these all out, and uh, two of them were stuck. The rubber part was stuck to the um, metal housing there. One was not, two were. So that one I told you about, I could blow through that one was, and one of these was. So, so that's probably what was going on with it. Uh, and it. You know, that's just from sitting. It's nothing, you can't blame it on anything. It sat three years without gas in it, so just stick you know it's a kind of crappy gas we use these days so that's what it looks like you take the check valves out so if you got one of these pumps that suddenly stops working or just won't stop won't start working again after it's been sitting a while check just take it apart and check it so all right guys there it is hope you got a little bit out of a little bit of good information out of that now you know about check valves and also uh, you know uh, regular pumps you know, like any other car mechanical pumps, they have check valves also, but usually those pumps, you can't really do anything with them if they start, if they stop pumping. Uh, you can, tr if you think it's a check valve sticking, you can try to blow back through it with like an airline and try to put some force in it. Usually, sometimes you can unstick them. So you can try that first before just throwing it away and condemning it. So, all right guys, see you later.